In Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. The world is made up of multiple regions, all seamlessly interconnected. The Grasslands. Located due south of Midgar, this is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. The Junon region. Where a metropolis by the same name overlooks the ocean, a symbol of Shinra's military might. The Karel region. The resort town of Costa del Sol adorns its northern shore, while the Gold Saucer stands as a gilded oasis above the Dust Bowl far to the south. The Gingaga region. Pay tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown, or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. The Cosmo Canyon region. Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. The Nebel region. Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa, or stop by Shinra Manor where Vincent rests in peace. Your adventure will even extend to the high seas. There's more to do than simply walk around, however. First, let's look at world intel. Assisting Chadley with his research will deepen his understanding of the world, allowing him to develop new materia. This research takes many forms, such as wrangling chocobos or playing with the mooglets at their mog stools. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. Chadley will also enlist your help in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto-relics. Each investigation is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters, exciting new minigames, and ferocious creatures. Are you up for the challenge? And once you recover all the proto-relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. Next, let's talk about odd jobs. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, Cloud will accept work from people he meets in his travels and team up with his pals to solve their troubles. By helping those in need, he will also strengthen the bonds between him and his comrades. Each one of these odd jobs boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, borrow aspects from the original FF7, while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. And don't worry if you leave some for later. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. You can always go back to tie up loose ends. And this freedom to experience the story how you want is one of Rebirth's greatest strengths. While some minigames are tied to world intel and odd jobs, many are not. For example, popular ones from the Gold Saucer, such as 3D Brawler, G-Bike, and Chocobo Racing are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. Others improve upon their remake versions, while still more 
are completely new to rebirth. We've even fleshed out some of the mini-games that were featured as part of the original Final Fantasy VII's main scenario. Though this one is not in the original, I highly suggest you check out the card game, Queen's Blood. No matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra, and I'm the last. While mini-games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience, with even higher quality content, and more of it, than Remake. This installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar, up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey, one that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. As for the graphics, Rebirth makes full use of the PlayStation 5 and its SSD meaning we could use much higher resolution assets than we could in Remake. And they will still load in the blink of an eye. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. Whichever you prefer. Rebirth has you covered. Each character interacts with the world in their own way. Barrett shoots objects. Yuffie swings across gaps. Tifa has her grappling gun. Red can climb along walls. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. and Aerith manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome them. Now for the music. We wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks, but also challenge ourselves by matching the feeling of each scene, which resulted in some truly innovative arrangements. Like, for example, the following. How was that? If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks for this game, so there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story, but through gameplay as well. They, uh, the choices you make throughout your adventure will change the way your comrades feel towards Cloud. Yeah, the place I made that promise to you. These feelings affect who will join you on a date in the Gold Saucer, something I'm sure many of you are excited about. In fact, even allies who weren't available in the original FF7 can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. The saucer is packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. Already have someone who you'd like to go with? You first. Uh, Cloud? Well, we hope they feel the same way too. Your companions will share a bond, not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. 
developed in that lab. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. I'm going to accompany you. The higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. By unlocking the skills etched in these tomes, your characters will grow stronger and learn new synergy commands. Part of what makes Rebirth's combat so fun is all the different character combinations. Switch up your team to fit the situation, or even your mood. Every possible party combination has its own unique synergy commands. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. And don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. With new characters and synergy commands at your disposal, Remake's satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. We can't wait for you to experience all this and more in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation 5.